as far as you're concerned. Right, now it's time to get across to the Jalisco Stadium in Guadalajara, scene of France's famous victory last weekend. And join our commentators, Ron Atkinson, the manager of Manchester United, but first, Martin Tyler. Thank you, Ian. Will you join us in time to check on the French team? William Ayash returns at fullback after suspension. And that's surely the most gifted midfield anywhere in football. Fernandez, Gires, Tigana and Platini. But Dominique Rochteau is injured, so Bruno Bellon joins the attack alongside Yannick Stopira. Franz Beckenbauer has made one change, forced upon him by Thomas Bertholdt's red card against Mexico. Andy Bremer drops back from midfield. And into the side comes the number 21, Wolfgang Rolf, who did a very successful man-for-man -man marking job on Michel Platini in the 1983 European Cup final when Hamburg beat Juventus. And Karl-Heinz Rummenigge does have that starting role, though he's still not full distance. Maybe a touch for Bremer, possibly played even wider for Klaus Alofs. And it's Bremer who hits it, and it's <laughs> The softest of goals in the ninth minute. Bremer passed the wall, a clear goalkeeping error from Scholvatz who was the hero against Brazil. He's the villain of the piece by Edda. Bosses. And the player who missed the penalty that sent France to defeat four years ago could have earned extra time. But Voller can make sure that West Germany win by two, and he does. France with all their forces pressed in the other half of the field. West Germany are into the 1986 World Cup final. Bats hopelessly committed. 